Hey, what's up everyone? This is Steven with SoCal3D bringing you my first tutorial video. In this video, we will learn how to change the temperature by height in Prusa Slicer. This is very handy for temperature towers and dialing in your settings just right. To get started, we're going to place your temperature tower down. To download this model from Thingiverse, click the link in the description. Now I have a roll of some ASA that seems to like to be printed at really high temperatures. So I'm going to be testing 280 to 260 degrees Celsius. Now it is recommended um, to start with the highest temperature at the bottom and the lowest at the top. That way you don't have any non-extrusion issues with the start of your print that will ruin the rest of it. Um, so we're gonna start by setting the highest temperature um, in our filament settings. So. I'm going to be changing that just changing this to 280 because that's going to be my hottest temperature that I'm going to be testing. And then from there we're going to hit slice now for the first time. And this will slice the entire tower at um, 280 degrees. But I don't want that. I want to be changing the temperature as it goes up. So we're going to go to the first layer where we want to change the temperature at. right there and then we're going to click right click add custom G code and then we're going to type in M104 space S275 oops semicolon and now you're going to change this number to whatever temperature you're going to be setting it to in this case I'm, I'm using 275 um, but for you, you could change this number. This is basically the temperature that it's going to set um, everything above to. So we're going to hit OK. And then we're just going to go and do that for the rest of our tower. So it looks like that's the first layer. We're going to right click, add custom G code. We're going to change it to 270 now because we're going to be going down in increments of 5 degrees Celsius. change it right there change this to 265 and then the last one right there we'll change this to 260 And now we want to make sure that we have all of our numbers right. So I set that to just 260 or to 26. We're going to want to edit that, and make it say the right, right thing. So that's at 260, that's at 265, that's at 270, that's at 275, and then this will all be at 280. So now we have to hit slice, slice now one more time. And then now you have your finished temperature tower. It should change temperatures as it goes across each of those command lines that you inserted. So the bottom will print at 280. This region will print at 275. The next one at 270, the next one at 265, and the last one at 260. Um, and that's it. You would just export the G-code now and then run your file normally. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you.